Hey guys, it's Walter Montero here from I Love Cambridge. Uh, just wanted to introduce Tamara Kalesi. She's with the Fairview Seniors Community and she's going to share with us some information on Aquafit and uh, how she is uh, helping our community with the 55-year-old plus getting into the water and getting fit uh, through uh, Aquafit. And she also has a sideline business as well uh, that she's going to be sharing with us. Some stuff called bee boarding and uh, she does it out on um, Shades Mill Lake, and it's a really cool interview. I hope you enjoy it. Hi, my name is Walter Montero. I'm a real estate and mortgage agent here in Cambridge, Ontario, and I've had the privilege of serving our community since 1987. Over the years, I've met some great people here in our community in many different businesses and walks of life. Some, of course, are well-known, and others are some of the best-kept secrets in town. So the purpose of this podcast is to share and introduce them to you. Welcome to the I Love Cambridge. You're, uh, Park. you're right in your right environment. You're uh, you got a swimming pool behind you. I do. I do. I made sure that uh, the pool level is up to snuff, and you could see the blueness. And <laughs> very good, very good. What's the temperature of the water? I'm sorry. What's the temperature of the water? Oh, normally it's 92 degrees Fahrenheit, but right yep. now it's sitting at 70. Ooh, that's cold. It is. It is. <laughs> now, yeah, and where is that pool? Where is that pool located? Where are you? We're we're in Preston, so um, right on Concession and Langs, that Fairview yep. Mennonite home. Yeah, yep. I'm I work in the therapy pool in the center. Okay, very good. You know, when my kids were little, years and years ago, they used to take swimming lessons at St. Luke's Place, and they used to fall asleep in the water because it was so hot. <laughs> <laughs> I believe it. We're actually warmer than St. Luke's and now St. Luke's doesn't even have a pool anymore. Well, they don't. Okay. They closed. Yeah. Oh, that's too bad. That's too bad. So Tamara, tell me a little bit about what you do here. I mean, you've got a couple things on the go. You're, uh, you're obviously at the, uh, the Fairview Center there. And uh, tell us a little bit about what you do. Okay, well, I uh, am the aquatic fitness instructor here at Fairview Seniors Community, and I develop okay. and um, I run the programs here at the therapy pool. Okay. Um, so that is um, a big part of what I do. And then on my spare time, <laughs> I um, also do my own fitness program with uh, Khaleesi Fitness. And okay. I teach stand-up paddleboard lessons. And um, as soon as we get out of the pandemic, I'm hoping to reintroduce our uh, balance fitness program called B-Board. Oh, very, now B-Board, never heard of it. Tell me a little bit about that. Of course. So B-Board, uh, actually, um, it came from California. And okay. the gentleman, Eric, and I cannot pronounce his French last name. I'm so sorry. But uh, Eric is um, actually, he's taken it all around the world. And it looks like a, a, a sup board. It's purple and about six feet in length. And on the bottom, it has a bevel, like a, a rounded bottom. And it's a separate air bladder. So it's inflatable. And so it simulates almost what it's like to be on a stand-up paddleboard, except it's on land. And oh, so you get to do, yeah, it's awesome. so cool. So you get to do like a fitness program that focuses on uh, balance and um, excellent posture in order to maintain your balance on the board. Uh, but it sort of looks like a sub board. Okay, very cool. So this, uh, I mean, that sounds to me like a, a major core exercise going on there. Serious core exercise. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> and you say this this board is inflatable, it, so you have you have to fill it with air, or, obviously, right? So I oh, yeah, very cool. So okay, well, that's when we first cool. got them, we were manually pumping them all, and uh, last summer we finally uh, invested on an electric pump because I have nine of them. So when I would teach class, I would have to pump all these boards and my, my husband and my kids would be helping me pump all the boards. It would take almost an hour. Oh, very cool. And this is done indoors or outdoors? It could be done both. Indoor, I would imagine. Yeah. Right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. Very good. And uh, in terms of your, your position there with Fairview, you're obviously, are you dealing with, uh, tell me the client base that you're dealing with there. Okay. So our focus is the 55 plus adult. And, um, and it's 
everyone from uh, frail adults that are seeking a movement program to help with their chronic pain or illness, uh, right up to the very active senior who's looking for something robust and vigorous to uh, and challenge them. Okay. And this is all done through what, through uh, uh, wa like water aerobics? Is that what they're, uh, is that so, what they're doing? Yeah, so I've, I focus on the aquatics. Uh, we do have a fitness okay. center um, as well and land fitness. Um, so the aquatic fitness program, yes, like we, we have physiotherapists that will bring their clients. Um, we have open sessions where people come to do their own movement, uh, sort of like maybe after they've done physio after a knee or hip replacement, they want to get into the water and get some movement on their own. Uh, perhaps okay. they don't have coverage for physio. We yeah. also have uh, people who just want to come out and hang out with their friends. And yeah. so they splice in the corner. Uh, then we also have uh, aquatic fitness programs. Um, we specialize by offering the Aquability, which is actually a specialized aqua fitness program for people who suffer from chronic illness, uh, chronic pain, uh, who have perhaps um, serious uh, movement uh, limitations or perhaps suffer from arthritis. Um, sure. And so that program really helps them uh, sort of suit what they need um, in the water so that they can have a better life out, out on land. So uh, that's one of uh, our main programs. And then I also offer a wonderful pro uh, program called I Chi. And I Chi, uh, if you looked at it, you would think it was Tai Chi, except it was okay. specifically designed for the water. It has okay. 19 moves and it slows. Uh, it's very meditative, very relaxing. Um, actually, right now, because of COVID, I've been doing it um, online once a week, uh, Facebook Live. I've taken mm -hmm. it from the water and put it on land so that my members who like doing it in the water can have some kind of uh, program that they could follow along at home. Um, and then I have a very vigorous program and that's taking stand up paddle boards and floating mats and putting them in the water and doing uh, very vigorous fitness programs on the floating mats. So, which is a lot of fun um, and a lot of work. And so piggybacking off of that, once a year, we would take um, those who are interested who did the floating fitness program, who would like to learn how to stand up paddleboard, we'll go to the lake and uh, teach them how to paddleboard. That sounds like a lot of fun. It's amazing. It's like the best yeah. job ever. <laughs> <laughs> now, tell me, how long are the sessions? Are they, are they, are they very long? Uh, so I try to run my classes between 35 and 40 minutes um, okay. because, I mean, the people who are coming to my classes are uh, sometimes even 20 minutes is more than enough movement, uh, yeah. especially in the water because it's very deceiving when you're in the water. The movement is uh, a lot harder because you've got all that resistance through the water. Uh, so, we, you know, it's comfortable because the water is warm and uh, soothing. Uh, so it can be very decept deceptive, like when you get out, how much more tired you might be. Um, so we try to keep them short enough. And even the vigorous program of uh, AQX on floats, the uh, SUP program, after about 10, 15 minutes, my members are huffing and puffing. <laughs> I bet, I bet, yeah, it sounds like it. Now, uh, how are you guys dealing with COVID? I mean, obviously you're closed down now, right? We are. So we did have the opportunity to open back up in September, okay. um, at the end of September. And then we, of course, with the, the, this last lockdown, we were closed uh, at the end of December. So uh, my team members and I, we have been doing as much as we can virtually. Uh, so our registered kinesiologist, our senior fitness instructor, and our yoga TRX instructor uh, have been putting on programming through Zoom. Okay. And um, I've been putting up posts on Facebook and YouTube that have like uh, different sequences that they can do on land um, and some exercise tips. Okay, good. And uh, so how can people find you online? Like, um, you, obviously, you've got a website, and you've got a Facebook page. Mm -hmm. tell, tell us where, where we can find those. For sure. So Fairview um, Seniors Community, if you Google that, will pop up. Um, otherwise, our website is Fairview MH for yep. um, home. Uh, same with our, our Facebook handle. It's at um, Fairview MH. Or if you just uh, search for Fairview Seniors Community, we'll pop up again. Um, okay. The YouTube, I placed it under my own name, Tamara 
uh, Kolezi, which I tell people it's like cola itzi, I-Z-Z-I, like the drink, I-Z-Z-I. Okay. <laughs> so it's easy to find. <laughs> we'll make sure we put the proper spelling in our notes. No problem. <laughs> yeah, very good. Awesome. So is there anything else that I, I haven't asked you about that I should have or anything you want to let our, our listeners know? Um, so we, um, we always have a ton of different educational programs uh, offered here through Fairview and mm -hmm. uh, all of our stuff is free, uh, especially right now, all of our Zoom programming, all of that, like you don't have to be a member. Um, and when we do our educational programs, we really want to invite the community to come and take advantage of that. Uh, every January, we always had our Seniors Active Living Fair, which of course was canceled due to COVID, which is sponsored by the um, Older Adults Centers Association of, of Ontario. And so uh, these are amazing fairs that they have all through Ontario, uh, where people come and you can learn all sorts of things about how to live um, actively in your older years and all the wonderful things that you can do. And I know that once the pandemic has settled, that yep. we will definitely resume that fair. So I really encourage people uh, to look us up, give me a call. Um, my number is 519-653-5719. My extension is 4604, just ask for tomorrow or just ask for the pool and we'll hook you up because we really want people to uh, feel um, engaged and not isolated. And we have a lot of free programs, like I said, um, and we can, we can connect you with other programs that um, might be more suitable for you as well. Perfect, yeah. No, I, I think it's definitely important, especially with uh, this lockdown going on. I, I think there's a lot of sitting around going on. Uh, there definitely is. So uh, <laughs> definitely, you know, especially on, on my YouTube and Facebook, like if you want to get up and try my, um, my IT program, I have it seated i have it standing i have the program um where you're on an air mattress and having to challenge your your balance so there is no excuses <laughs> right on so you're you, i mean you're obviously very passionate about the subject uh you, you've been involved in the, how long have you been involved in this field well um i actually came back to aquatics about 10 years ago i've been with fairview for eight um, and actually just okay. sort of branched off with the stand-up paddleboard about five years ago, but it is definitely a huge passion of mine. I absolutely love um, aquatics. I think it's one of the best um, ways for people to uh, reconnect with their own body and body awareness. For sure, for sure. Where's your favorite spot for, uh, for uh, the paddleboarding? Well, um, I, I love the challenge of Lake Ontario. Um, but when it's a little it's scary sometimes, but um, I like the challenge of it. But I, when I take newbies out, I actually my place, my home is uh, Shades Mill in Cambridge. Oh, perfect, it is okay. an right. awesome place. Um, I was hooked up there last summer to teach, and I already spoke to uh, Brian Hunt from Shades Mill, and he assures me that. Um, COVID withstanding that uh, we are certainly welcome back. So Shades Mill is a beautiful place for newbies to learn how to get on their stand up paddleboard for sure. Very good. And what, what day do you anticipate that? What days do you anticipate that? Is it through the week on ends? Can you hear me okay? I'm sorry, you were all choppy. <laughs> Oh, I'm sorry. Sorry about it. it was actually I just got a note. It was my internet. It was my internet connection. Sorry. No, what sorry. what days do you what days will you be doing that on, on the lake? Is it during the week or in the evening on the weekends? I'll know closer to the time. Um, okay. Last last year I was doing uh, weekdays and weekends. Um, like sort of okay. I. I work around my schedule here at Fairview because obviously my first priority is what I do here at Fairview uh, sure. but their hours are really uh, good there at Shades Mill because we can get in there as I usually take my first client uh, no earlier than nine because I have to get there and set up um, sure. when they open eight but um, you know the summer days are long so we can paddle pretty much you know right till seven eight o'clock. Great. Now, in terms of equipment, do, do the, uh, your customers bring their own equipment or do you provide it? I have everything. Oh, wow. There's no excuses here. None. None. <laughs> you don't show up. You don't show up. The only thing I ask is that you know how to swim. <laughs> or oh, very good. Yeah. 
you have to feel comfortable with the jacket on in the water. Like yeah. it, some people aren't strong swimmers, but as long as you can fall off the board with the jacket on and feel comfortable, then I'll take you out. Yeah. Awesome. That's great. Well, this sounds like a lot of fun. I, I know a few people that have thrown around this idea. Now I can let them know who's, who's involved in it. Definitely. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. Thank you so much for your time. I greatly appreciate it. Oh, my pleasure. It's been lovely talking with you. Like, likewise, you too. Have a great Thanks. day. You too. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.